Okay. Second part is rendezvous routing. I basically already gave away the trick, but I hope you all forgot. Um, so, uh, what is rendezvous routing? Anybody have a good explanation of what, what we are trying to do here? Yeah. Instead of me, me like, Instead of me meeting you at your place or my place, we decide a different place. Exactly. So, so we, we have some place where we meet in the middle and, uh, and we don't, I don't know, I have to know where you live, you don't have to know where I live. We're all, we're all really private uh, people. So it, it also has another feature though. So um, what happens if, if I want to buy this guy and I don't know how to get because this guy is basically in a hidden uh, in a hidden part of the network that all is all private, and um, I I don't know how to access that part of the network. Uh, what we can do is basically the um, uh, this guy selects some meeting point uh, meeting place that is somewhere in the middle between the two of us, and uh, he then generates an onion that uh, would uh, would lead. Uh, would lead from this guy back to himself. So he is basically creating an onion on behalf of if this is the sender, then this is how you uh, how you get to me. And he he sends his onion back to the uh, to the original sender. The original sender then uh, creates his own onion. In this case, I made it blue. The blue onion basically goes from this guy to this guy. And we then take these two onions and combine them into one single onion, such that we can then uh, uh, send um, send through this guy over to the to the recipient. So we have two features that we're trying to do. Uh, basically, one is we want to hide the identity of the recipient, and the other one is we want to uh, uh, we, uh, this guy is really not that good at finding paths. But uh, but uh, and, and we want to give him a hint how he could reach us. Yes. So yeah, we, we we already talked about this, but how do we actually combine onions, right? Um, this is, this is how we serialize the onions. The important part is the hot payloads here. These are uh, one hundred uh, one thousand three hundred uh, bytes, and we want to combine that with something else that is also three uh, one thousand three hundred bytes. And since we've seen uh, on on Wednesday, uh, this is all uh, this is all HMACed. How can we put something that is this big in here plus some plus some signaling bytes? So clearly, putting the onion inside of the onion in this case doesn't really work, right? So what should we do then? So basically, taking this uh, uh, and then prepending stuff and uh, and rewrapping doesn't really work because the way we modify the ephemeral key along the, uh, along the path, right? Because if uh, uh, the, uh, in um, this case, for this part of the journey, the recipient generates an ephemeral key as if he were sitting here and then starts tweaking that on every hop to, share, to generate shared secret, uh, secrets, right? And then uh, this guy needs to generate an ephemeral key and tweak it along the way such that the, the ephemeral keys meet up in the middle, so that the ephemeral keys are identical here, right? So that's not really possible. That, that, would, be, that would be a scalar point division, which is kind of hard. And that, that's sort of the, the whole point of, of, uh, of ECDSA and, and Schnorr, that that operation is hard. So anybody can see the trick here? Less hops that might might be possible, but then you're giving away that uh, that you just used a, a rendezvous route, and the uh, the other guys in the network would actually have to understand and uh, the, the protocol for shorter onions. This is this is actually possible without without people along the way having anything to do at all. Anybody? Give it away. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> you aren't? So, so, so one thing that I would do, and I think you're also proposing, is to, um, when, when the recipient creates the route, right, mm -hmm. there's a lot of filler in the end. 
Mm -hmm. And this junk can now be like the first part of the second onion, right? So so that you put this in an entire onion together. Mm -hmm. So so you would that, put the second part of the journey on onion inside of the first one? No, just the hops payload. Mm -hmm. that, that stuff I need there. Mm -hmm. so, right. so, 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 what, I, you're, what you're proposing is basically wrapping the onion some more. And, and well, I need some stuff more, but I mean that is something that that we should do because I mean you give me an onion for the rendezvous point, it might have five hops, it might have ten hops. I don't know that, mm -hmm. but I definitely know I need three hops to come to the rendezvous yeah. point. So I take the seventeen hops that are there and I put the first seventeen hops of your onion in there. Mm -hmm. That is one thing I need to do, but there's the problem with the ephemeral key, so I need to do an ephemeral key switch. So I somehow yeah. need to, like, put this into the data. Yeah. So that that's exactly the trick. Uh, yes. Um, so so this is this is the write uh, write up. It's it's L N R N D V Z, which is ron lightning rendezvous without all of the uh, all of the uh, vowels. Um, so. Um, but I can give you the link later. So the idea is basically that uh, if if you remember the uh, the construction of the onion, we were basically taking an onion and wrapping it going backwards from the from the recipient to the sender, right? And this looks very similar. Instead of if uh, instead of going from the recipient to the sender, we are giving a, a, we are being given an intermediate state, and we just continue wrapping our, basically our part of the journey backwards, right? And the only issue that we really have is that the um, that the ephemeral keys don't line up. So you, you use a different realm, right, in the payload there to transport the ephemeral keys? Uh, so so we, we do it a bit differently now that we have TLVs. We basically just have that. Uh, so uh, the, uh, the, the actual solution is, hey, for, uh, the, in the uh, payload for the rendezvous point, the, the point where, where these two onions meet up, we just say, hey, instead of generating the uh, the ephemeral keys like we used to, just use this. And this the the ephemeral key that we switch in is basically just the ephemeral key that we got from the uh, from the recipient. So we have this this uh, thirty three byte ephemeral key that is hidden inside of the payload for the rendezvous point, and the rendezvous point is basically by just being told, hey, I know you just generated an ephemeral key for the next one. Don't use that. Use this, and that way we can actually solve this quite nicely and have basically the, all of the same mechanics that we uh, that we used so far. But we have this really simple if statement that basically says, okay, if there is an ephemeral key switch in there, just switch out the ephemeral key and everything lines up again. And that's basically the whole solution. Easy, isn't it? So. Very last time for me. Thank you so much for having me. It's, it's been a real blast.